Hi, I'm Charlie Hudson. I teach an Aikido class in Bath, Maine. People are always asking me what Aikido is and what kinds of things we do in my class. So I thought I'd set up this video blog to give people a chance to see the kinds of things we're up to. This is not going to be a blog about the TAA curriculum or the Aikikai curriculum, although we do do some of that stuff in class. This is going to be a blog about experiments and ideas we're playing with. These are ideas that are interesting to us and I hope to you as well. In this first video, Eric and I are going to show how we synthesized ideas from three very different sources and came up with a different way to think about the grab and stabs from the TAA curriculum. Ooh, ah, uh, this is embarrassing. No sound. Well, I'm just going to go with it. Blogging has never been about perfection right? This whole thing started percolating when I first went to a seminar with Henry Kono-sensei. Whereas Tamiki Aikido is often thought of as a hard style, Kono-sensei practices the softest Aikido I have ever seen. But his Aikido is very effective and I found a lot of his ideas are applicable to Tamiki material. You're moving? From here down. And when you go down, you're not going to think about it. I got to go down. Then when you go down by thinking about it, right, everything comes down. Right? You're just walking, you're just going to drop this. The top half is not going that way. It's going that way. It's always going that way. This half has to be always going that way, 100% of the time. We were teaching the Jodan Kazushiwaza a few weeks later, and this idea of energy of the arms always going forward while the feet are moving backwards was very helpful. Adding what some people call a Kono dip to the motion adds an extra travel for Uke. And when there's an extra travel, his key has to come in, right? These two ideas from Kono Sensei really improved my Jodan Kazushiwaza. So I was eager to see what his ideas could do for other Kuzushuaza. If he pushes, right, you want it to be the way we are, I just gotta stay. Just, just stay the way it is. Tamiki practitioners should immediately see the connection to Tegatana Awase. This brings us to our second influence, Sato Sensei. <laughs> Sato Sensei is very emphatic about the importance of Tegata Nawase, and his version of the Kuzushuaza is basically an extension of Tegata Nawase. The Kuzushuaza that I originally learned included a lot of gross motion. Tori enters into Uke's space and moves him around. But Kono Sensei never enters past the mutual center, and in my understanding, Neither does Sato Sensei in his version of the Kozushuaza. Here's the Chudan Kozushuaza with the focus on the mutual center and no entering. This puts you in a very interesting position, which at first glance looks less effective, but it's actually amazingly effective. And this leads us to our third influence, which was a connection exercise that Eric introduced us to. It's a really interesting exercise and we may go into it in a little more detail in another video. What was amazing was that when we did this Tamiki drill, taking into account Kono Sensei and Sato Sensei's advice, all of a sudden you end up in a position where you can totally take control of Uke's center. And you can do it with one hand if you want to. But if you want to end with the Oshitaoshi or the Hikitaoshi from the curriculum, you're in a great position to do that as well. So there's our little tidbit from this week. We'll probably aim for something a little bit shorter in the coming weeks, um, but hopefully we'll have sound next time.